What is the best way to find good sources on Jarvi to maximize your follow back ratios? This is actually a video from inside Instagram Gorilla Tactics and I'm gonna give it to you for free here on my YouTube channel. So this is the type of content that's inside that course. Now before we start the video, AE Growth, my growth company, has officially launched a story viewer option. So if you have over a thousand followers and want to watch 400,000 story views a day, that is now an option. You can click uh, below onto the link um, go to aegrowth.com and you can find that option on the checkout page. So enough of that, let's get into the video. A ninja way to find good follow back ratios, to find good sources with follow backs. Now this is a big issue because in the current state of things, if we are only allowed to do 200 follow actions a day, you want to be maximizing your follow back ratio, all right? You want at least, you know, a 25% follow back ratio a day, a lot more, you know, 25% being the bottom line. Um, I've been having anywhere from 50 to 80 lately using uh, a new method that I'm doing that's working out really good. It can work for your own accounts and for your client accounts. Now, <clears throat> sorry, as we know, the actions right now are only 200. I'm currently testing some of my own profiles to see if we can do more than that. Um, I'm going to try to do 400 a day, see if I don't get blocked when I hit that 6,000 um, threshold in under 30 days. So I'll let you guys know and I'll update the course as we go along. This is an exercise that we are going to go through and do on my phone. I want to show you exactly how I go about finding sources for myself and for my clients. All right, so pulling up our phones, we are going to go to the search tab and we are going to come over here into this beautiful explore folder. Now, this is how I am finding sources with high follow back ratios. The key is to take into consideration the account. So let's say we're doing this for my account. Here's my explore folder. The reason I'm in the explore folder is because I know that this content in the explore folder, Instagram is pushing out to other users, pushing it out to me. Uh, number one, it has to do with my niche and what Instagram considers my account to be in. So I want the people that are engaging on these posts to engage on my post because the people that are engaging on these posts are sending this content to the explore page and we want those type of follow back ratios and why you know why is that obviously for the reasons i just stated but also because we know that these are engaged users and if they follow us back they are going to be apt to comment um, on our posts uh, testing this within the last two three weeks the follow back ratios are insane as well as the engagement rate Generally, all I'm doing is follow and follow with a story view and they will follow me back, like about five or six posts and leave a comment. So this is a real ninja way and this works. Let me show you guys how. So going down your explore feed, you're obviously going to have to pick and choose what works best. Now there are pictures on here of girls with tattoos. Now if I want follow backs, generally who's engaging on the pictures of these girls with the tattoos is probably gonna be guys. Guys might not be interested in a picture of me with my shirt off. They want to see a picture of this girl with her shirt off. So I'm not going to target that. What I am going to target is something similar to me and my page. So look at this guy right here. Let's pull up Jake Lawson. Now the first thing I do is I look at the likes and I look at how recently it was posted. Obviously, it's a lot harder to buy likes these days. So the likes on this uh, post could be legit. But the main thing I'm looking for is the comments. Now, one thing I'll do when I scroll down through comments is I look for engagement groups. I don't want to target the commenters on an influencer's page if it is coming from engagement groups. Now, there could be a mix. So one thing we have to take into consideration, if there is engagement group, comment, in group, group comments on this post, we still want to see whether or not there are regular users because when we do the scraping, we're going to be targeting users with a certain amount of following. So it, it generally, it's going to avoid the influencers anyways, but we want to make sure it's not just influencers. So when you go through and you see emoji comments like from, you know, Catpo333, you know that this is a regular user. All right. So there are regular users commenting on this post and that's who we want to target. So look, this guy is getting a lot of organic engagement. So this is definitely somebody that I want to target. So we're gonna make a list. Now we're gonna write these names down. So Jake A. Lawson, now I've, I've vetted his profile, vetted his posts, he's getting good engagement, has to do with me, he's on the Explorer page. Um, great followers to following ratio on this guy's account. This is an account we're gonna to wanna to target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going through and doing this and create a list writing these down. 
So I'll write down JK Lawson. Uh, we'll go through and let's say we are doing this for a client account. All right, let's say the client account um, is in the animal niche, right? It's a puppy's, puppy's account. So we'll click on animals and we'll just go through here. Now, obviously, uh, if it's a puppy account, we're not gonna target this bird post. We're just gonna go to this page right here. Obviously, this poor dog has some type of issue. We're gonna go into the comments section. And again, we're gonna make sure that this person is getting generic organic comments and not engagement comments. This looks like a good page. You know, Miss Duck fan, oh, poor baby, what happened to this sweet pup? These aren't comments that are probably coming out of an engagement group. So scrolling down and vetting a little more, this does look like an account that we would target. So it's a simple rinse and repeat process of us going through and vetting all this explore page content, finding pages and posts that have really good content, and then we'll hop into Jarvi right now and I will show you how you go about targeting these pages. So pulling up Jarvi right now, we are in our Scrape account because again, we're using Scrape accounts to feed all our accounts, the users for growth. So in my Scrape account in the follow sources section, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come down here and follow users that interacted with post on target accounts, uh, have that selection rank 10, make sure you are going off the comments. Um, those are who we were gonna to wanna to scrape first. If Jarvi has a hard time scraping enough comment users, uh, you can add likes in there, but I generally like to go with comments. Comments hold the most weight. That's what we want. So we'll go down here. Remember we had JK Lawson and we'll add him in there. And what Jarvie will do is it'll take JA Lawson, all the commenters on his post, and the, you know it shows the number of followers that he has. Now when we go back to our settings, notice that in our filters, we are only gonna go after the users that have under 2,000 followings followers and you know above 50 uh, the non-english users the non-private users you could even add in the private users if you want if they're commenting that's fine so make sure your user filters are are good now after um, you've added like maybe 10 12 um, accounts into the sources you go ahead and turn this on this will start going through and scraping all those commenters on these organic explore page um, accounts and it will start feeding your main profile with engaged users to follow. That way you know every follow you are doing out of the 200 a day has a chance to get a follow back from a very engaged user in your niche that is going to eventually help you push you or your client's content out into the Explore page. Uh, you know, this is a super ninja way of doing it. This is how I've been doing it and testing it and it's working extremely well. So I hope you guys have found value in this video. I hope you start implementing this in your own or your clients' uh, source finding strategies. I will see you on the next one, guys.